Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. Nice sunny afternoon here in West Sussex. A bit chilly, but, but nice and sunny. So let's not complain. Um, I'll bring in my earworms. I hope. Yeah. Good yeah. Hello, everybody. everybody. Greetings, both of you. Welcome. Glad to see you. you. And uh, right. So today we're making, as you saw from. It's right. The oh. big fat fingers. <laughs> That's, <yeah. laughs> That's the one. <laughs> um, yeah, we're making lace bobbins. A um, couple of them. You've seen the pictures on the on, the, on YouTube anyway, I expect. But um, that's that's the one I'm sort of copying shape wise. I shan't be doing the spangles on the end because uh, my wife can do the colours she likes on there. I'll drill the hole for the wire. Um, but that's basically what we're making. It's, it's not it's not complex. It's just very very delicate. You have to be really careful because uh, we're doing it in ebony which um, is a nice hard timber. It polishes up nicely, but it can split. So particularly if you've got a crooked grain on it. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got two chances. I've got the piece of wood on the lathe, which I shall bring up now, uh, which is probably that one. There it is. If you can make that out, it's it's in a pen, pen, grip, pen chuck um, at the moment. Because the first thing I've got to do is to turn it to 12 mil diameter. Because then I put it into one of the collet chucks at Axminster Cell. Because that way you can have just a small amount. Let me find it. Here it is. You can put the, the timber in as that piece is. Um, poke it out the back and through, through, the, through the headstock. And you just have enough here to work on. Then you can pull out a little bit more and do another bit. So if it doesn't matter how thin it gets, you're still well supported. And you can have a center in the in, in the end if you want to in there, which we may do just to keep it steady. So uh, so that's what we'll be moving on to. I'm just going to finish preparing the uh, the other piece of timber. Right, so we've got one question before we start from right. Rex B. Okay. Quite a simple one. What does a lace bobbing do? Uh, Alison's just tried to answer that. I think she says, hi, Rex, you wind the bobbin with your cotton and work in pairs oh, yeah. to make lace. Basically, you have it on a cushion. I should have got Alison to bring it in, shouldn't I? <laughs> you you lay, put your lace work on the cushion with lots of pins to hold it in place, and then you wind the, 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 the thread round the, round the pins, effectively, by swapping the, the, um, the, the, the bobbins over from one side to you the other. You effectively um, tie knots. And basically, yes, yeah. It, it, it's a bit of a mystery to me, I have to confess, yeah. but I've it's watched a lot of doing knots it. joined up with holes. Yeah, absolutely. But the holes stay the same size. It doesn't all pull tight. So that, that's, mm. the, that's the clever bit. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, and it's a good old fashioned traditional thing to, <laughs> to be doing as a craft. But it seems to be taking off a little bit these days. More and more people doing it. I know there's a guy who lives just around the corner from me here whose wife does does lace work and she sells lots of the equipment that they use and he makes lace bobbins that's all he does that's all he turns he's got a lathe and set up and and that's all he makes so and they sell it at, at craft fairs and stuff like that all over the place oh here she is she's still, <laughs> right i don't know if we can get this on here but we'll try that, that, that shows that, it. that's it that's the cushion you use you can see all the pins in the middle there, up here, loads of them, making the you, pattern. You get pre-punched cards or pre-dotted right, cards, yeah. and you just transfer the pins up and down. And so if you're really, really clever, you prepare system. your own. But, but, mm. but Alice is not that clever. But yeah, and then, and then you simply you, you flip these things over from one side to the other, and and tie knots, and end up with. I'll give you that back. With something like, I'll, I'll turn it sideways on because it'll fit better. A bookmark is, is mm -hmm. an example. That was one that Alison made some time ago now. So it's really quite attractive. It's, it's a very, very traditional craft, which I like time, about it. Time consuming. Very time consuming. She spends years making things because she only does it once a week. And I think there's an awful lot of talking goes on. So <laughs> as you can imagine, <laughs> a bunch of ladies together, there's a surprise. <laughs> 
Um, Todd, but it's uh, different to tatting because tatting uses a slightly heavier cotton. This is lace work right. is very fine cotton. Extremely that's fine. Only, yeah. yeah, that's the only difference. And tatting is yeah. done with a uh, um, a bobbin rather than um, a, or it's a proper bobbin that holds the cotton. It's not quite the same thing as this, is it? This no, is just it's different well, technique. Well, this is wound around and looped over, and and, and that holds it. But um, but no, it's, it's it's quite a fascinating hobby. And uh, well, Malcolm Douglas is saying that's how he started wood turning when his wife started making lace about forty years ago. Mm. So yeah, as I say, it's it's a very traditional craft, but it's 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 really quite lovely because it is so timeless. You know, it's been done for centuries. So um, it's nice to feel you're part of that progress if you like anyway let's go back to where we were which was that one no it wasn't it was that one wasn't it um and we, we've we've got that other view if, if you don't like the view you're getting just shout and somebody will pass it on to me um and we can change it but we'll see how we go with this one it's a difficult thing to actually to actually show on camera because it's so small but um anyway here we go let's 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 start this one I've nearly, I've nearly got it round. That that bit is ten mil. Where's my spanner gone? I'm using time time honoured method of measuring it. Fits through that spanner. It's about to what ten mil, twelve mil. Beg your pardon, twelve mil. <laughs> um, so uh, it saves using the vernier or anything similar. Um, so that's that's now as far as I need to go in that chuck. So I'll move the tailstock out of the way, take it out of, out of this chuck, and we'll put the um, collet chuck in in its place. Rex, this there's so many different um, style of bobbins because each lace making area in the country has its own style of bobbin that they're <coughs> named after the county, basically. Um, they're more or less the same length. It's about four inches, is the is the short ones, but they do go up to about six inches. Yeah, these the one we're doing is I should I haven't actually measured. I just made it the same length as with this one, <laughs> which is oh, it's 100, 105 mil, so it's four inches. Yeah. Four inches, yeah, which yep. is the sort of standard length. If yep. they get too long, they get more out of control apparently and it, that's right if you're going to um talking to a lace maker some time ago the only time she would use the longer ones is for the main um, main threads through the lace which are sometimes slightly heavier duty apparently and as i as i understand it part of the purpose of the, the spangles on the end is to give another little bit of weight give them weight yeah it makes they them want... easier to use they don't want the, the length. No, that's right. Right, so now we can work on this this top end here. I'm going to leave a bit of spare because obviously there's a hole in the end or an indentation. So I should start lift from the camera fraction, Andy, so it shows the chuck end more. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, it's moved. Whoop. I've not about it. there. Yeah, it's not. It's come loose a bit. Is that better? Right at the back of the pit. That's better there. Okay. Just needs to focus now. Yeah, I'll just focus it. There we are. Not asking for too much. No, nope, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets too gets too fussy, I'll go to the other camera. <coughs> that doesn't doesn't need focusing. Right. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to use a very small spindle gouge. Cover your keyboard first. Yep. Yeah. It's not going to fly very far from this, but let's do it. Good thinking. I've got a couple of tools I made made myself. When I first, when I did my um, spin uh, bobbins before, I made these two from bits of mild, uh, bright steel. And uh, they're just scrapers, but they, they, they come in handy just for doing odd bits. But we'll get it roughly down to size. So pencil, bobbin, here we are. 
Uh, it doesn't matter which end I'll start. I think I'll start with this. It's going to be the delicate end, so let's put this out here. So I'm going to start. That'll be the end of it. That's the bobble. And that's the end of the narrow bit. I'm sure it's got a technical term, but I don't know it. Are you going to do right. the honours today, Pete? Oh, I can do, yeah. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Thank you. <clears throat> Scroll back to him. <coughs> uh, I and did myself for the first thing. Twisted Trees was the first in of the guests. Brian at Hartwood Turning. Malcolm Douglas. Can't see a thing of what you're doing, Nandy. You're in your own shadow. Oh. Uh. So we need a bit more light then, do we? That's no good. That's getting in the way. Is that going to be any good? No. No, it's still blur. Sorry, Pete. And that's too much light. That's all right, yeah. This, uh, as soon as you put your hands on the rest, it goes quite dark. Yeah, that, won't, that one won't be too bad now, I don't think. Let's try it and see. Oh, you can see a bit more yeah. than you could just now. Better, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Carry on, everybody. It's working with a dark uh, timber, isn't it? It doesn't help. Alison Heath was next in. I've heard of her. Uh, well, I should hope so. Todd at Glen Cove Woodworks. Roger Kent. Uh... Chris Dodds, good day, Chris. Rex B, Mike U from uh, Tommy's Workshop. Uh, Robert Copper Elwood turning. Uh, Malcolm Douglas, i Roy's the boys. Doug Miller at Woodford Spun Round. Uh, Kev at 9K Creation. And I think that is it. If I've messed anybody, I apologise. Just give us a shout. Reintroduce you. Brian at Hartwood, I saw at the top. Yeah, I mentioned him. Yeah, he was Did one you? of the first in. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. You've got 22 watching you at the moment, Andy. Well, that's pretty good. Lunch sounds are always tricky, aren't they? Right, let's go around to there, then it's going down to quite small. Five point three radio. Trying to get it pretty much a good match to that because it's something that Alison likes using, so
Right, and that goes up that diameter all the way to there. Just put a link in, Andy, to the lace bobbin shop. Excellent. Whereas uh, everyone can see all and read all, about all the different styles and designs for local areas That's right, they, around that's the right, country. They're, they're sort of endless designs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to give you some indication, but, uh, there is a lot, <laughs> and you don't have to stick to any specific design. Oh, which is quite nice. Quite mm, quite I like usually that. try and make a, a pair of whatever I do. That's that's what close, I'm going to try and do today. Pair. Yeah, 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 a close, close pair. a close two pair. That, two that are similar. Because that is still it's looking very thin, but it's still a millimetre thicker than it than, than the one I'm copying. So, yep, that's three and a half mil, and that one's two and a half. So, so we'll keep going. It's going to be sandy yet, so I don't want to go too far. But it won't be sandy by a millimetre. It's amazing what timber will take, though. Well, particularly the uh, ebony. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice one to use. I'm just going to take a bit more off that because it makes it obvious where the top is. That's fine. And then I shall sand that a little. I've got more than enough timber in here, by the way. So I will be wasting a bit, but... Oh, what am I doing? Right, sanding. Don't need to go through all the grades. I'm going to start with 240, I think. Be plenty. So, one advantage of doing something as small as this, it doesn't take very long to sand. Oh, excuse me. That's nearly there. Little malt there. It's better. Four hundred. You can see the finish coming on it as soon as you touch it with this. What's that? Won't go any further than that, I don't think. Don't need to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I can spray it with a sanding sealant. All in one go. That's better. Right, so yeah, it's looking quite nice. Good. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to pull it out a bit more now, I think. Good job we know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. Enough there. Good. good. Okay, so now I want to get that down to, there it is, I've lost my phone here for a minute, I'll turn this down to 6 mil, 5.59 to be precise. Fiddling, it's all fiddling little things like these, but quite fun. is good Go. I've lost me bobbin. It's over there. There it is. <laughs> I got it. There's a slight radius on there. It's much too big at the moment, anyway. So, so that's all right. behave something like that if 
5.35 for that bit. You're much bigger than that, so. 6.3, yep. Yeah. Only a millimetre. That's about it. And then from there, it goes in like that. And then parallel this bit. Jennifer's just joined us as well. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Now, Wesley Hanna's just uh, woken up and joined us. Hello, Wesley. So that's there, that's there. That's coming out not quite far enough, but a little bit right. And then this is more chunky down here. Keep the weight distribution right. Getting somewhere, somewhere near what we want. That diameter is 5.58. And that is 6.68. Just getting there. Jennifer, I'm doing quite well, thank you. I've got my next uh, chemo tomorrow. And then I get two weeks off before I have another three-week blast. But uh, overall, feeling quite good. I'm in myself and doing quite well as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I don't know what the uh, consultant thinks. But uh, I know what I think. And that's, that's all I'm worried about at the moment. But thank you. Texture on there, It'll probably will disappear later on, but don't worry about it. Okay, so now then, I think, I think the camera's now. gone out of focus, Andy, with Was the it? vibration. Yeah, oh, you certainly can't see the detail that you've just put in. No, it's hunting a bit. Yeah, it's too much light. It's quite useful for me, but 
<laughs> it doesn't help the camera, does it? No, no. No. I put some very thin lines in there, that's all. Right. <coughs> Let's try the camera above it and see if that's any better. Ben's just joined us as well. Hello, Ben. Hello, Hello Ben. Yes, you can really it? zoom in. You can't really see it. Yeah, and no, I can't zoom in on that. No. Um, I can drop the camera down, I suppose. But then it doesn't focus that close, I don't think. It's hunting. Yeah. It's trying to. Have you Just got a about. Bit of white board or white paper you can put underneath of it. Um, I'm sure I can find something. can just about see them. Yeah. Just. Just. Oh, yes, it doesn't really help much, does it? It's there. But, um, no, it doesn't help. I don't think it will help to move the camera around, the, the light around at all. Mm. You can see there's, there's, there's something there, can't you? Mm. <laughs> It's going to fall off any minute at all. Bob Rice has joined us as well. Hi, Bob. Hello, Bob. Bob. Yep. It doesn't really focus in that, that close. Nope. Okay, anyway, I'll carry on. Just hold in focus there. Good, right. Well, we'll try that and see how it goes, yeah. Um... Now, what am I doing? I'm going, getting fatter now, I think. That's pretty much the same with then just thins down towards the other end, which is, of course, a lot further on yet. I think you're better so, off on the tailstock one, Andy. It's just hunting between. Is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's just so close. I know we can't see all of it, but at least it's fixed focus. Yeah. There you can see the marks I've just put in there now. Yeah. Let's so say there. Need a bit of tidying up yet, but um, that does show you the, the, the shape of it a little bit. Right, let's leave it there for a minute and see what, how we go. Uh, well, that's pretty much where I want it. So a bit of sanding, just a couple of bits. Doesn't need very much. <coughs> I can see somebody else doing some work. Mm, I can say, what's going on outside? Uh, so somebody use I don't know what they're using, chainsaw or something. Oh, it's you, is it, Pete? Yeah. It sounds, sounds like a sandal or something, doesn't it? Or a yeah. strimmer. Anyway, not to worry. doesn't matter. Oh, a strimmer, it could be a strimmer, yeah. Although it sounds a bit fast for a strimmer. Well, you're half an hour in, Andy, and there's 20 watching you, mate. Okay, lovely. These things are all time-consuming, aren't they? Small little things. You don't seem to be doing much, but except sanding and uh, moving things and measuring things. Which, well, yeah, I've done, done a bit of cutting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a lot, but anyway, that's um, that's that. I'm going to extend it out now. Get on to the next bit. But it is all fiddly, you know. You you set it all up, and you you do about an inch, if that. Mm. But there we are. Can't be helped. Oh dear. Right, where's the there it is. Oh no, it's come on, get it sorted there. Hmm. 
let go. Yes, you do. Come on, you know you do. helps just to push it in a little bit. That's it, it's gone. This is what it had. Ah, oh, come on. As you say, it is all mucking about. Especially when the chuck decides to grab hold. That's it. We got it. Right, so. It's there. That's the bottom end just there. I think that'll be about. About right for now. That's a router in it, I think. Making that noise. I would have thought a plane, but still. Could no, I think I, I think it's a chainsaw. Do you? Mm. It sounds like a chainsaw, but no. Certainly not an electric one. No. Right, so here we go then. I'll go and have a look out the window, see if I can see it. Okay. Give him a talking to, Pete. I will. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It's split the end now. Shouldn't need any end support. No, I'm going to take it off <laughs> rather than risk making it worse. I can glue that bit back on. So. In fact, is it actually falling off? Not quite. Glue it before I even turn the lathe on, I think. Well, I was just wondering about putting some tape around it, but I'll glue it. Yeah, I'll glue it. Get some super glue because that dries nice and quickly. your finger Pete on Andy yeah I've got it on my fingers and everywhere um, <laughs> bit, of, bit of tissue somewhere there it is Jennifer's asking for the thumbs up guys if you appreciate what Andy's doing hit the thumbs up button please thank you very much we don't get anything out of it but it does just push a few more people these um, this, this style of video in front of them when they uh, fire up on YouTube. Right, apart from glue on my fingers, that's glued. happens at that end. Let's have a look. So it's pretty much that sort of diameter all the way along. I think it gets a bit bigger but not significantly. Five, 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 five. 
5.39, so yes, it's pretty much the same. All the way up to the end. Good. Right. Okay. You've frozen, Andy. Yeah, the camera's frozen up, Andy, if you can still hear me. It doesn't sound like you can. Probably enjoying talking to himself. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <coughs> Caught in the act then, Pete. Yeah, he lost absolutely. connection. <laughs> mm. Should have pinged in his ear to let him know that he's lost it. Hmm. Normal oh. service will be resumed as soon as uh, Andy wakes up. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Yeah, it, well, it, it's coming up as he's still live. But uh, we just lost connection somewhere along the line. Hmm. Right. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. Was, they said it was their they said it was their fault on my screen. Stream right. Yard. Okay. Um, so it looked like it froze you... up, that's all on the camera. Yeah, that's right, but could but the whole thing went blank on my end. But could you okay. hear me at all while it was no. on? No, no, was no I thought so. It, it cut us off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It cut us off completely. So anyway, but we seem to be timer all right. was running, so you haven't lost it on audio. Or on no, on record. That was really odd. I've no idea what it was, but anyway, I, I, I effectively shut down and started again. So, um, right. Well, let's um, see what's happening. I can I get to I can get to that so I can change the camera. That was the one we were using, wasn't it? Yeah. No one's done anything much. <laughs> no, no. Correct. I've been trying to sort my computer out. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so. Is that going to be blocking you? No, that'd be right. No, no. Ward Wilson's just joined us as well from the West Coast. I did measure it up. I know it's got to be about that diameter all the way along. Afternoon, Ward. And Dr. Dr. Bob. Bob. Yeah. Welcome, guys. will be Ben he's got two to make so he will be starting again but I'm not sure yes. whether that will be today no it may not be let's see how we go for time but well you're three quarters of an hour in there already yeah there's no point rushing it these things do take a bit of time it doesn't help you know last time I did one of these I did, wasn't on camera it doesn't help having the camera right in front of you getting in the way mm -hmm doesn't help right. but it's uh, one of the hardest woods out there as well a bit of ebony. i know but i like a challenge yeah exactly <laughs> um it's because i think if i can't see anything oh. no you can't see anything but you can if i move it around a bit oh oh no that's the wrong one that's all i went you'll see that there's my bit of timber and there's the camera Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's about six inches, if that, away from the, the timber that I'm working on. 
doesn't make life any easier, but it gives you a chance of seeing what I'm doing. And that's moved. That's better. It's not focusing very well, is it? No, it's hunting too much. Yeah. You're too close. Yeah, I've moved away a bit more now. Which will help me. That's better, I think. Right, so let's get this. See that wobble? See, it's just joined up us as well as from down under. Yep. Oh, Sid, well done. So let's mark where we, what we're actually doing now. Let's go in there like that. It's not slightly different that end, but not enough to affect anything. That's the end of that. There's a bit of wibbly bit. And then it's that bit up to there. Okay. So. I need a little bit more light. Let's just round it off to the end. Rather like that. And that's sanding time. There's a little repeat of the twiddly fiddly bits I was doing up the other end, just there. Come on, Let's clean this bed up sometime. Just there. Just two, I think it'll do it.
could have uh, certainly sealed that before I took it off. But I didn't. Suffice it to say. There, so where's that split? I can't see it. There it is. Well, let's just trim the bit of slack off that end. Send that up. That's better. That's good. That's lovely. And there it is. That's the uh, the thing made. Put the white paper behind it, Andy, so we can yeah, see. Yeah, I will. I'll just get myself sorted out a little bit. And I shall get my little table up here as well because it's easier. Bit of paper. And oh, something's flickering nicely. <coughs> well, that's down the other end, isn't it? Oh, forget that. Let's go back to this one then. Turn that light off. That's better. Well, you can you can more or less see it, can't you? Not, yeah. Not the, not the detail of it, but no, you can drop the focus, though, can't you, on that one? Yes. Uh, no, no, that's the headstock one. All right. <coughs> Could try and catch it with the other one. There's a question in here to you, Andy. Do you yep. paint them like the original? No. No, because that's the, what I was going to say, but I thought the, I'd give you the privilege. <laughs> the, wife, the wife of the guy who makes those around the corner from me, she paints them. She painted some eggs for me one Easter a couple of years ago. But, um, but yeah, she paints them. I don't. Uh, come on, Zoom. Let's put that around that way. Then focus it. Is that showing what you want to see? Not really. It's very difficult to get it to do it, isn't it? It is on black on white. Yeah, to show to show those little bits of, of mm. grooves in there. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're nothing very fancy. So I can try that one again, but I don't think it'll work. It's going to be too... No, the camera corrects it just as it starts to come up clearer. Yeah, yeah if, you right. put your, if you put your hand down flat underneath it. Yeah. No, a bit closer. That's it. Not on well, Not not that close. <laughs> but it's not the focusing; it's the amount of light. It's yeah. It's yeah, you can requiring. just see that. You can just see the detail there now. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can see the one up this end, can't you? Particularly, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. But it, believe you me, it is there. Hopefully, it'll shine in the photographs when they go on. Facebook. Um, how are we doing for those? Five to two. I don't think I'll start another one. I think I'll save that till next week. If that's all right with everybody. Well, it's taken you 50 minutes to do this one. Ridiculously long, yeah. Mm. <coughs> um, but it's, it's all the fiddling around. You can't get on with it. I know. But, um, but no, that's... Anyway, I think we'll do that because... I'll I'll have the hole drilled in there by next week, and if my wife wants to put some spangles in there, she can. But I'll, I will I will give it a I'm going to give it a quick lick of sanding sealer now. So is it advisable then to put sanding sealer on if it's going to be painted? It's not going to be painted. Right. No, it's just going to be as it is. It's going but to be with a plain one. A plain one with melamine finish on it. <laughs> 
But the sanding sealer does just give the metal oil a base, so. Oh. <laughs> Smaller stuff is so interesting to work with, isn't it? It runs away from you. Right, yeah, it, was so it, was, it was blown away with that sanding sealer. <laughs> Fortunately, sanding sealer, you can wipe it back off again. It's not a problem. It still does its job. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, on something that small, I would probably have just uh, gone on straight with the wax beeswax or something like that straight on the lathe before I parted it off yeah it's going to be handled a lot though that's the problem yeah Canoe you know beeswax. beeswax does melt a bit with it in your finger heat, heat with your fingers canuba which is why, which is why yeah canuba is one but which which I should probably do on this anyway after after, after I've um yeah you buff it, it on though yeah yeah buff it on yeah yeah but um it looks looks better for some sanding sealer on down can't to see, you. Can't see it, can you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it shows it up better. That's it. Yeah, yeah. it's better, isn't it? Yeah, because you've got Very a reflection of the light now. Yeah, that's, that makes a big difference having just mm. having the light reflecting on it. Yeah, good. Anyway, so that I'm quite pleased with that. That's that's a, a reasonably good copy of that without the patterns. Mm hmm. So not not million miles away, and we'll see how we go next week with a, with another one. But um, yeah, Alice, Alice, Alison's getting a bit impatient. Looking good now for another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we've got a visitor turning up this afternoon, so I don't want to be stuck in here. So, so we'll call that it for now. So I'll come back over here. So not very much to show for our afternoon's work, but um, one little stick, a few little fancy bits on it. But you really, you can make them as, fan as fancy or as plain as you want. This one's a little bit fancy, but, but basically functional. Hiya. Yeah, I'm, I'm live at the moment. Uh, Doug, Don't worry. Miller's, Doug Miller's saying that uh, he doesn't understand how these can be turned profitably. And I, with some difficulty, I think. I'm not sure that the guy around the corner actually made a lot of money out of it, but um, he stopped well, doing if, it now. If you go to the link that I put in earlier on, they're selling for thirty odd pound plus. They're not. They don't give them away. No. No. That's true. No. So yes, they're quite uh, quite valued items, but uh, mm. particularly the painted ones. But um, but no, and you can and you can see why when you turn one, you can see why they they cost. <coughs> Because they're really fiddly to do, but, uh, and you're going to lose some. You know, you're going to split the timber from time to time. So if you get a crooked bit of grain, well, you don't really is... need crooked grain. You just need something oh, no. with a, a, a slightly wider grain that uh, gives way, or a bad bit. Yeah, of it can be anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this one, I was, I was like, this was the timber that the guy who used to make guitars over at Canterbury. Gave me a whole load of stuff. He phoned me up and said, "Do you want it?" I said, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. ebony and, and and various other timbers. And this was what a piece of that. It's lovely timber, really straight grain. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Peter Twisted Tree said, "Alison wants 158 for the next project by Thursday, please." Okay, no problem. And Alison <laughs> said, Alison replied, "Correct, Peter." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The good thing is, though, Andy, you're not put in which Thursday. No, they're ganging <laughs> up on me. What's going on here? But, um, yeah. No, no, that's right. We're, yeah, we'll, we'll specify a Thursday sometime in about three years' time. Mm. No problem. But no, I'm quite pleased with that. That's all right. That's, uh, that's not bad because it's a long time since I've done one. And uh, I didn't use my little, little. I've obviously got better at wood turning. Than I was when I made the other the other two. I didn't need my scrapers, so it's got to be a good thing. <laughs> Sometimes good, so it's dependent on the wood as well, whether you use a scraper yeah, or yeah, absolutely. Because I think to use cutting tools. Yeah, I think I did it in ash last time. I 
think I did one in Ash would to start with. Then. Yeah, it is. It is one in Ash and one in, in Ebony. I think last time for black and white anyway, mm. and um, and it was it was it was more difficult to turn because the, the timber wasn't dense enough. But um, I got it done. I say Ash, it might have been Holly, which is a bit closer grain, did not it? Holly probably wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it so, might have been Holly. Mm. Any so of the um, exotic hardwoods are good, or well, most of the exotic hardwoods are good because they're closer yeah. grained. Yeah, yeah, then Holly certainly is, because I use Holly for my snowmen for their heads, because it's nice and white. So that's all white, isn't it? Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Just having a quick look up the uh, up the comments. Well, we've answered all the questions as they've came, they came in. So. Yep, good. An 80-year-old near Kev does 60 in a sitting. Mm. God knows how, but it, it's all he turns now. Yeah, this guy around the corner from me was the same. He churned them out, I mean, no doubt about it. And he, and he used to make, make some money from them. But, um, well, it's like everything practice and yeah, sort of muscle memory. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And, and he does nothing else, mm. which does make a huge difference. I, I, we would like to get our hands on, on all sorts of different stuff, which is understandable and I think acceptable. But um, good. Anyway, let's bring bring the bring the other reprobates back in. There we are. Don't forget we ha held the fort for you while you disappeared. You certainly yeah. did. Thank Just you very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and I'll say welcome to anybody who watches it afterwards now. And hope you enjoy it. Because it tells you to do that when you first log in, but I never have done. Mm. And, um, so I thought I would this time. Good sets of tile scissors. Or better next time, yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, so lovely. Well, I think we'll call that it. It's no point, as I say, I've got a visitor coming any minute now, or any 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 hour now. It's coming from Manchester or somewhere, Cheshire somewhere. Um, so, uh, so I better stop. Thank you very much to my earworms. A pleasure. No worries. Kind of yeah, for no. both of us. It uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't work without you, so. It They're does, nasty. but it's harder. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah, it, you can't look at the chat and concentrate on what you're doing. Not on anything um, as small as that. No, <laughs> it was mm -hmm. certainly a concentration job. This one. Mm. So, um, so no. Well, thank you very much, both of you, for coming along, and thank you everybody else who's come along and watched. So, um, I'll get this one finished off. Probably put it on Facebook at some point uh, when, when, if, if and when Alison's got the spangles on it. And, uh, and let you see it. I should put a bit of finish on there as well, a bit of uh, melamine on there, just to make it shine, buff it up a bit. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. And I'll say good night. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you to everyone. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Bye.